On behalf of the Sobble Points Lighthouse Keepers Association, we welcome you to Big Sobble Point Lighthouse. The mission of Splicka is to preserve, promote, and educate the public and to make our lighthouses accessible to all. As you visit the light station, it is our hope that you will get a sense of the wonderful history of this magnificent structure. For nearly 100 years, people lived here. Lighthouse keepers kept the tower lit and kept vigil for mariners in distress. They also built and repaired buildings, raised children, played games, and made music. Early keepers planted gardens and gathered eggs from their chickens. Here in the shadow of this 112 foot structure, weather shaped their work and family life in a beautiful but desolate place. Guy Blake, a turn of the century lighthouse keeper wrote on March 4th, 1903, could not see anything of the lake, nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye could reach. His journal gives us an inside look at life under the light. It was an extraordinary life, living at the water's edge and providing a land signal to travelers of magnificent but sometimes treacherous waters. This dwelling was home to more than 70 keepers and their families. In 1867, Big Sobble Point Lighthouse was built to guide ships carrying goods from a booming commerce. Lumber, coal, ore, salt, food grains, and even summer resort passengers. A Christmas ship carried trees to Chicago. This place became a beacon along the way, shining its light 18 miles out into Lake Michigan. The keeper's task was to keep the oil lamp burning and to clean the large, very special Fresnel lens. Since there was no road until 1933, supplies were brought by boat, tender ship, or horse and wagon along the shore nine miles from Ludington. With these supplies, Big Sobble Point Lighthouse was maintained. The tower and dwelling were built of soft yellow Milwaukee cream bricks which eroded quickly and were difficult to see in the daytime against the sand dunes. In the early 1900s, the tower was encased in 18 protective metal cylinders. Cement was poured between the brick and steel. The steel bands were painted in a black and white design that made the lighthouse unique and easily identifiable from out on Lake Michigan. By 1913, a fog signal building, brick oil house, barn, and expansion of the keeper's dwelling were complete. The keeper's caring and dedication are visible through the work of their hands. Time and innovation gradually changed life at the lighthouse. In 1924, telephones arrived. In 1933, the road was built. In 1948, indoor plumbing was added. In 1949, a generator replaced the oil lamp, and in 1953, the entire station was powered electrically through underground commercial lines. The keeper's hands lighting the oil lamp were no longer needed. In 1968, the last keepers left Big Sobble Point Lighthouse, although from then on, the light has been changed regularly by the United States Coast Guard. The absence of constant hands at work led to vandalism and the sad decline of the keeper's dwelling. Erosion and high water in 1986 threatened the tower and other buildings. Nature is relentless. Wind, waves, and sand all made their mark along with vandalism and the abandoned buildings looked forlorn in their emptiness. What was to become of Big Sobble Point Lighthouse? In 1987, a group of caring citizens focused on the restoration of this significant landmark. In the spirit of Guy Blake and other early keepers, these new voices became keepers of a new dream and vision. The new association, now known as the Sobble Points Lighthouse Keepers Association, has worked tirelessly to renovate the tower and dwelling and open them to the public. As a result, November 1, 2017 marked the 150th anniversary of the original lighting of the light. Today, the original third order Fresnel lens, removed from the tower in 1987, is displayed at the Port of Ludington Maritime Museum. Joining it is the original fourth order lens from the Ludington North Breakwater Lighthouse. We warmly welcome you to Big Sobble Point Lighthouse and encourage you to visit the museum and view the lenses. 
The Salva Points Lighthouse Keepers Association is a nonprofit 501c3 corporation and caretaker of Big Salva and three other iconic Michigan lighthouses gracing the eastern shores of Lake Michigan, south of Big Salva Point Light. The Ludington North Breakwater Lighthouse, located on the pier in Ludington, the Little Salva Point Lighthouse, located in Silver Lake, and the White River Light Station and Museum, located in Whitehall, Michigan. After today's experience, we hope you will visit and experience our other lighthouses as well. Each one is unique and has its own story to tell. Through their tower tour fees, items purchased in the gift shop, customized walkway boards and donations, our visitors make it possible for the Sabal Points Lighthouse Keepers Association to meet its mission to preserve, promote, and educate the public and to make our lighthouses accessible to all. Right now, you are invited to become a keeper to walk the steps, to keep the light burning, to remember and support the lives and work that brought us here. Ask one of our over 400 volunteers how you can be involved and become a volunteer and active keeper of our lights.